वेलकम बैक टू एस एल एन अकेडमी टूडे टॉपिक इज डायरेक्शन सेंस टेस्ट लॉजिकल रीजनिंग टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स फॉर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स फ्रेंड्स प्लीज क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड क्लिक ऑन द बेल आईकॉन टू गेट न्यू वीडियो अपडेट्स ऑन दिस चैनल एंड डोंट फॉर गेट टू लाइक कॉमेंट और शेयर directions north east south and west are the four main directions or points of the compass they are also called as cardinal directions or cardinal points these directions are also written in short form such as n e s and w north and south are directed towards the north and south poles of the earth the earth's rotation defines east and west these points are further subdivided by the addition of four intercontinental directions northeast southeast southwest and northwest to indicate the eight principal lines this is eight point compass rose rotations there are two directions possible in two dimensional rotations they are clockwise and anti clockwise rotations here this is called as clockwise rotation it is called as clockwise rotation because it proceeds in the same direction as the clock's hands it is also called as right turn because it moves to the right anti clockwise rotation it proceeds in the opposite direction of a clock's hand as it moves to the left it is also called as left turn now let us start with our exercise Question one, find the point. Which point is northwest of A? Observe the grid and the points given here. Point A is in the middle. Find the point which is northwest of A. Options are option A G, option B B, option C E. option d d draw the compass rose as shown here you will get the answer as option d d question 2 find the angle priya was facing the library at the beginning she turned anti clockwise to face south What angle did she turn through? And the options are option A 90 degrees, option B 180 degrees, option C 270 degrees, option D 45 degrees. If she turns anti-clockwise and make 90 degrees angle, she will face west side. If she turns anti clockwise and make 90 degrees angle again then at total 180 degrees angle she will face south side At first Priya was facing the library To face south she made 180 degrees anti clockwise turn So the answer is option B 180 degrees Question 3 find the angle Priya is facing south she want to turn anti clockwise to face the library what angle she has to make and the options are option a 90 degrees option b 180 degrees 
ऑप्शन सी 270 सेवेंटी डिग्रीज एंड ऑप्शन डी 45 फाइव डिग्रीज इफ शी टर्न एंटी क्लॉक वाइज एंड मेक नाइंटी डिग्रीज एंगल शी विल फेस ईस्ट साइड If she turns anti-clockwise and make 90 degrees angle again, then at total 180 degrees angle, she will face north side and face the library. At first, Priya was facing south. To face library, she made 180 degrees anti-clockwise turn. So the answer is option B, 180 degrees. Tip of the exercise: To reach any opposite direction, like from north to south or south to north, you have to make 180 degrees angle. Question four: Find the final direction. Priya is facing market. If she make 270 degrees turn to the right, what she will be facing? Here we have market in north side, library in west side, train station in south, and school is in east side. Let us solve this. Two seventy degrees angle means ninety degrees plus ninety degrees plus ninety degrees. This is ninety degrees clockwise or right turn. Now it is 180 degrees clockwise or right turn. And now it became 270 degrees clockwise or right turn. At first Priya was facing north. After making 270 degrees turn to the right, she is facing the library in west. And the answer is option B. Question 5. Find the final direction. Yash is facing the park. What will he be facing if he turns 225 degrees anti-clockwise? And the options are: option A, church; option B, airport; option C, school; option D, bus stand. Here, Yash has to make. 225 degrees anti-clockwise turn. That means 180 degrees plus 45 degrees anti-clockwise turns. Anti-clockwise turn means left turn. Here he made 90 degrees anti-clockwise turn. Another 90 degrees anti-clockwise turn. And another 45 degrees anti-clockwise turn. Total, he made 225 degrees anti-clockwise turn. At first, he was facing south side. Now, after making 225 degrees anti-clockwise turn, he is facing northwest. And now, he is facing the airport. And the answer is option B, airport. Question six. Find the final direction. Yash is facing the bus stand. What will he be facing if he turns ninety degrees anti-clockwise? And the options are option A, library. Option B, airport. Option C, park. Option D, market. Here, Yash has to make 90 degrees anti-clockwise turn. Now he made 90 degrees anti-clockwise turn and facing the market. At first, he was facing east. After 90 degrees anti-clockwise turn, he is facing. north and the answer is option d market question 7 find the initial direction 
Sheila now faces north. She made 3 by 4th clockwise turn first, followed by 1 and half anti-clockwise turn. What direction was she facing at first? And the options are Option A East Option B West Option C North Option D South Here Sheila made 3 by 4 clockwise plus 1 and half anti-clockwise turns to face north. And we need to find the direction that she was facing at first. To find the initial direction, we have to track the turns backwards. When we are tracking backwards, clockwise turn becomes anti-clockwise and anti-clockwise turn becomes clockwise. We have to take one and half clockwise turn plus three by fourth anti-clockwise turns. After these turns, she is facing west side. So this is the starting direction. Making these many turns take time. So let us find the answer with a shortcut. Sheila once made one end of turn. Here, ignore the complete turns. Person will remain in the same position and direction even after n number of complete turns. Now we are left with 3 by 4 clockwise half anti-clockwise turns. One is clockwise turn and another one is anti-clockwise turn. If anyone makes opposite turns, subtract them. Impact will be the same. So 3 by 4 minus half equal to 1 by 4. 1 by 4 clockwise turn means 90 degrees clockwise turn. When we need to track initial direction, we have to track backwards. Then clockwise turn becomes anti-clockwise turn. And anti-clockwise turn becomes clockwise turn. So she has to make one simple turn that is 90 degrees anti-clockwise turn. Now she is facing west side. And the answer is option B west. This is how we can get the direction with minimal turns. Tip of the exercise. When a person makes clockwise and anti-clockwise turns, subtract them. Another tip of the exercise is, complete turns leave the person in same direction and in same position. So to find the direction, we can simply ignore the complete turns. Question 8. Find the initial direction. After walking for 6 km, Yes turned to the right and then walked 2 km. After then, he turned to the left and walked 10 km. In the end, he was moving towards the north. In which direction did he start his journey? Options are Option A East Option B West Option C North Option D South Let us find the direction in which he started his journey. Generally, to find the answer, you have to backtrack his journey. Right now he is facing North. Previously, he turned left, walked 10 km and moving towards North. So, to backtrack, we need to walk 10 km from north and turn to right. Previously, he turned to the right and walked 2 km. So now, he has to walk 2 km and take left turn. And he has to walk 6 km back without taking any more turns. This is the starting point and this is the starting direction. And the starting direction is option C, 
north. This approach is taking time. Let us see the shortcut to solve this problem. Only initial direction was asked in this question, not the initial point. So we don't need to worry about the distance he walked or traveled. So to track back, left becomes right and right becomes left. Now he is facing north direction and the answer is option C, north. Another very simple shortcut to solve this problem is he made two turns which changed his direction. They are one right turn and one left turn. Right and left turns both balances each other. Here angle was not mentioned. So they are right angles. 90 degrees minus 90 degrees equal to 0 degrees. So he will be in the same direction. And the answer is option C, north. Tip of the exercise is after making one right and one left turn, person will be in the same direction. No need to calculate. Points to remember. To solve direction problems, first we should remember the compass rows with four cardinal directions with north, south, east and west sides. To draw compass rows with eight cardinal directions, add additional sides as northeast, northwest, southwest and southeast sides. While solving direction problems, draw a line by pointing the north side up and south side down. You will be able to identify the rest of the directions. Rotations In clockwise rotations, we will always make right turns. In anti-clockwise rotations, we will always make left turns. Remember the degree of angles. One complete turn equal to 360 degrees. Half turn equal to 180 degrees. One by fourth turn equal to 90 degrees. And one by eighth turn equal to 45 degrees. Sometimes terms like right angle, straight angle or complete angles will be mentioned in the questions. When it is mentioned as right angle, it is 90 degrees angle. Straight angle means 180 degrees angle. Complete angle means 360 degrees angle. Some tips and shortcuts to solve the direction sense tests are one complete turn equal to 360 degrees. It leaves the person in the same position and in the same direction. If a person make one left and one right turn and the angle is same or not given, that means both balances each other and leaves the person in the same direction. If a person rotates in clockwise rotation and anti-clockwise rotation as well, then subtract those angles. If a person rotates in clockwise direction only or in anti-clockwise direction only, then add the angles. Thank you for watching this video. Friends, please click on subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get new video updates on this channel. And don't forget to like, comment or share.